Jackson, uh, I believe, is coming together in that same way. This, this was a community-wide effort to put together a smart zone application. What we did is brought all the stakeholders of the community to break it up into teams, and we did this as a team effort to uh, to look at our applications, see what our, our county needed to survive as a uh, as a smart zone. We were all instrumental in being part of the whole legislative process. Uh, both myself and uh, Dan Phelan from JCC went to both houses. We made our presentations and asked for their help in passing the laws so Jackson would be eligible for a smart zone. Thank you, Jim and Randy and Mike. Thank you for your bipartisan work. Uh, Everybody has uh, uh, really set on a vision of moving the economy together and developing uh, opportunities for high-tech growth. So the smart zone really became uh, just critical to have that brand, uh, that designation from the state. And so uh, once the community determined that that was their goal, uh, you know, we found out that the law wouldn't allow for any additional smart zones. So uh, I actually wrote the first bill, uh, actually, uh, Representative Simpson and I introduced that, and uh, we worked through an arduous bipartisan process, and eventually um, the governor signed legislation into law that would allow for three additional smart zones. Well, I'm really proud of Jackson stepping forward to get a smart zone. This is a huge accomplishment, I think, for the community, and it stems from uh, a wide variety of collaborative groups uh, with the Institutes for Higher Education, with Jackson Community College, Baker College and Spring Arbor University. We've also talked about a curriculum that we can bring to bear, entrepreneurship related courses, small business related courses, and so we're working very, very collaboratively to make this a real success for our community. Take the advantage of having a smart zone designation and making sure our institutions are there to provide students, individuals trained and ready to greet these new industries, looking at high tech areas to be able to be very successful. This is an exciting day for uh, Jackson County because uh, it's all about our future and uh, higher education is an important part of that. In fact, education is very important to what we're doing because as we attract new businesses, one of the things that they look at very carefully is to make sure we have a strong K-12 through uh, educational program, but also a strong higher education program. So with Jackson Community College, with Baker College, and with Spring Arbor University, this community is rich in the educational opportunities that it provides for new businesses that are considering uh, relocating to an area like we have. We worked with the Jackson community, brought in the Michigan Economic Development Corporation so they understood exactly what standards they needed to meet uh, to be designated a smart zone and we heard today that uh, Jackson County submitted the best smart zone proposal and so Jackson County is now one of three new smart zones to be designated. So when the governor of the state of Michigan is marketing Michigan, whether it's in Asia or Europe or California, uh, Jackson County will be one of those communities that they'll be marketing and has been acknowledged for uh, just a, a, an incredible focus on creating high technology based jobs. So I'm very excited to be a partner with the local community and to you know, share that tenacity and that perseverance that resulted in the smart zone designation.